Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. It is so rainy and so gloomy here. I'm in the sunroom and I realized that I never showed you guys like the final thing, product of the sunroom or the look of the sunroom. So I have to do that on another video. But I've snuck away in the sunroom and I can still see outside but I don't have to be outside. It is literally pouring, pouring, pour, pouring rain. But today I'm excited. I was even more excited because all my seed catalogs were coming in. But today, before we jump into the seed catalogs, I'm going to be talking about doing seed inventory. So we're prepping for 2023 spring and summer planting. But first, we got to go through and see what we have. So I thought I'd take you along with me today as I go through all of my seeds, start making a list of what I need before I start buying things I don't need and that I want. Okay? So, let's go. What you saw me doing in that little clip was I had some seeds that were kind of like in a pack all by themselves that I had ordered um, that I hadn't categorized or put up so I was just laying those out and putting them in categories so that when I go through my seed inventory that is organized I can just add those things in so I was just kind of getting set up I do have my laptop here in front um, as well so what I'm going to try to accomplish today is to kind of go through everything that I have. I have four of these bins and I'll talk a little bit about that but I want to go through everything and see what I'm low on. Um, I'm going to try to stay focused, right? I'm going to try to stay focused so that I'm not chasing butterflies and like, ooh, I need, you know, I already have a list going that I did from the summer. Um, what I did at the, the end of the year, end of the summer recap, I talked about the things that I wanted to do more of, less of, and all that. So I have that saved on my computer. But today is really about laying eyes on what I have. So, for example, if I want to grow green beans next year and I only have one pack, I know that I need to order green beans. So I want to get kind of all the needs first, and then we can go to wants and desires and all of that. Um, what else? So... I have all of that laid out. I have like, I don't know, like seven packs of cucumbers that were kind of like out of the boxes. But let me tell you a little bit about how I organize my seeds. And I've showed this before, but in case you're new to me, first of all, I'm in zone 7A in Tennessee. And this is how I store my seeds. These you can get at Michael's, probably Hobby Lobby too, but it's um, a photo craft case. And so inside are these cases that are supposed to hold four by six photos, but they just so happen to be perfect for seeds. You can see that here. So you can put your seeds in there. You can put a label on it like that and um, put them in here like that. So I have three that are all the same kind and then somehow I think it was out of stock and I ordered a different kind it looks the same, but the cases are different, which I don't like because I want all my stuff to be alike. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and what's the beauty about this is that you can keep them all organized in one spot. But then also you can just take this out to the garden when it's time to plant instead of trying to take a whole Walmart bag full of seeds that's all jumbled up together or taking this whole big thing. Um, what I also did before I came in here Yesterday, I took all of my seeds um, out of the greenhouse that I had like sitting on the table. I, I make, it's a bad habit of mine, probably yours too, is you know, you're in the planting season, you have your seeds, you have them in the tunnel, you have them in the garden, you have them outside, wherever you normally keep them, instead of bringing them back in when you're done and storing them. Ideally, you want them to be stored in a dry, cool um, place. Um, and not in extreme temperatures, you know, especially in, in the in the um, heat. So they've been sitting, some of them have been sitting in the greenhouse. Doesn't mean they're not gonna grow. 
Seeds want to grow food, so they will grow. They just may not be as viable. So the first thing I have here, and I don't have these. Well, I tell you what, like this is all flowers. I had my daughter when she was home from break. That might've been in the summer. She kind of organized my stuff for me. So the things that I haven't used as much. Um, oh, I see another dog. Y'all, I gotta show you this. Okay, I missed it. Y'all, there is a, another dog. Um, so you know I have two dogs. I have a black lab and I have an African Mastiff. There is another black lab that has been showing up on my property that looks just like my lab. That the first time, I thought I was going crazy because I thought I was seeing double. And that was, I just saw him go behind, but this other dog has like a... Um, a collar around his neck and my dog does not have one of those like him and so I'm like wait a minute that's not... and, and when you see both of them together they look literally like twins but he just keeps showing up on my property he's a nice looking dog too um, like he's not a, he can't be a stray because he looks very well taken care of but anyway let's let's go back to what we're doing so this first one here this this seems to be, thanks courtesy of my daughter, this is all flowers. So if you didn't know, I started for the first time last year growing cut flowers. Um, I love flowers. Um, I would like to have flowers in my house every single week. And two weeks out of the year, two weeks out of the year, two weeks out of the month, I usually do. Um, but my goal is to have flowers on my, fresh flowers on my table every single week. So I did. F uh, fresh cut flowers for the first time last year. Uh, I will be doing that again this year. So I'm going to go through my flowers and see what I have. And also as I'm, as I'm going through the day, I'm focusing obviously mainly on the spring and the summer. So anything that would be like fall planting right now, I will notate that I need and will certainly catch and order the seeds, especially if they're on sale or something like that. But my main focus is for the summer. So I have one yarrow. Um, so you can see here, there's only one packet in there. And yarrow, I did not um, plant last time. Um, it looks like it's a perennial. And um, I just got this to try. So I'm not gonna order any more of that because I haven't even tried it for the first time. So that is good to go. This is straw flower. I only have one. I tried it last um, summer. It didn't do as well, so I do want to try it um, again. So I may get um, one packet of that. I think what I'll do is I'll just lay it here, and then that way when I'm done with one case, I can just type in all the stuff that I need and then put it back in here. Let's see. Well, maybe I can just do that now. Let me know if you guys are growing flowers um, this year. So... I'm gonna kind of put in here straw flower, and at the most, I may get like two packs. So I'm kind of putting the quantity. So I'll put that back in there. Um, echinacea, my echinacea didn't do so well last year. I have one pack um, of that. I think I'm gonna keep with that and just try what I have before I buy more. Um, here is a flower mix which is really pretty. I got this from Botanical Interest. It's probably one of my little stops. Um, I'm not gonna order any more of that particular kind because I haven't even done that one. This is like a stock flower. I have one of that. I think this is, I've had this for a long time. I haven't even tried it yet. So I'm not ordering that. This is a black trumpet. I'm not really into dark flowers and so um, again, I'm not going to order this, but this will be, uh, this is a perfect situation. Like if I do like a seed swap, maybe there's somebody who really likes this flower and I can give it to them and get something in return. Um, I'm not sure how I got this. I probably ordered it, but I've never used it. I'm just not a big fan of like the dark flowers. So we'll put that back. Dianthus. No, not that. Bachelor's button. I haven't even tried that. I have two of those. We'll keep that as is. The aster, I did grow that this year and it was very, very pretty. Um, it looks like I have a packet and a half. So I think I may order, I'll put that on my list. Um, 
in case there is like a different color blend and we will say no more than two. Another reason why this is really important to do a seed inventory is to make sure that you don't overspend because y'all those seed catalogs are coming in they are so pretty. Of course, they put the prettiest picture on the cover. And I'm like, just want to dive in. And I had, I went through only one, just one. Um, and the rest, I said, no, nope, I'm not going to go through them until I do this part. So I'm trying to be disciplined and not um, order things that I already have, number one, like in abundance of things that I don't need, that I'm not thinking through. And just, you know, kind of watching what I spend um, instead of just ordering a whole bunch of seeds that I may or may not use. Um, Gonfrina, I had this flower last year. You guys saw it in my garden. It did well, but I'm not a big fan of what it looks like. So I have two packs. I'm gonna let that be. I'll probably plant it again, but I'm not gonna order more. These are poppies. I have like two packs of that in there. I'm gonna keep that as is. The Black Eyed Susan. Now I really liked this in my garden last year. They were great for pollinators. Um, and it looks like I have two packs of the same kind, one that's not open and one that is open. So I am gonna put that on my list um, and see if I can find some different colors. And I'm telling myself two. Now, I'm putting two down. It doesn't mean like, oh, I can only buy two, but it's gonna give me, if I don't order seeds, let's say for another week or so, it's gonna give me an idea of when I went through my inventory, like how many I thought I may need. So that way I'm not ordering five. Unless, again, it's like on sale because seeds on sale need to be in my cart, right? Um, so salvia, I haven't used that. I'm not a big fan of it. So again, I have seeds that I'm not a big fan of. Either I haven't tried them, I don't like the way they look, or for whatever the reason, um, and some of these, when I was getting ready to do um, planting for the spring and the summer, they're really for the fall. So I had kind of missed the window. And then when I was doing planting for the fall, I didn't come back to my flowers and even look, which my mistake. Uh, but again, this is a perfect um, way to seed swap with somebody in your local community or in your area. I'm thinking about doing a seed swap locally um, next year in the spring. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Um, so in here, okay, so this is another Rebecca, which Re Rebecca is um, Black Eyed Susan. So I'm gonna actually take this one and put it in here with the Black Eyed Susan. So that way it is organized. Um, I'll put this one back. This is like Flocks. That was a free seed from Baker's Creek. I haven't tried it. I'm not particularly keen on the way it looks. So now I have an empty case that I can reuse the label for because my daughter had made one for Rebecca. Um, and I'm trying to see if I have any flowers on my table. I don't. Um, and then broccoli is in here. And again, I know I have some more flowers somewhere else. So we'll leave this one for now and we'll consider this one done. And so that's one out of four done. We will put that over here somewhere. And then let's go to the next one. Y'all, let me know if you do this with your seeds before you order or do you just dive in, get all your catalogs and go straight to your computer and start ordering. There's no judgment if you do. There is absolutely no judgment. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to be organized and thoughtful and intentional. Okay, that's all. <laughs> so if you, if you do it the other way, I'm not mad at you. But if you want to do it, um, this way. I wanted to show you what I'm doing and if you want to copy, go right ahead. Um, but let me know what you guys are doing. So I have some seeds again down here that were stuck in between. This is lemon balm. This is mint, which I've never grown mint from seed. I've always bought it. So that's good to have. And then Dusty Miller, which I bought my Dusty Miller because it didn't really grow when I tried it from seed. But I have it and will keep it in case I can't find it. Um, okay, so this is broccoli. So I have one, two, three, four, five things of broccoli, which I went through a lot of broccoli seeds this year. And you know, this is one of the things we eat that I really wanted a lot of it in my freezer. So far, I haven't gotten any yet. So I'm going to put broccoli on here just because I know next fall I can go through that pretty quickly. Um, 
So I'm gonna put that on my list. And so if I see it and can get it within my budget this time, then I will. If not, then I'll know for the fall that it's already on here. And so I'm gonna put five to seven. That'll just let me know I want a lot, right? Okay, so these are beans. These are pole beans. I didn't do any pole beans last year, I only did the bush beans. And that's just because I ran out of space on the trellis and didn't have time to put up another trellis. I do want to try these eventually. So this is a, a purple bean. That's just pretty, so I want to try and see what it looks like. And then this is like the Kentucky Wonder. So I'm not going to order any more pole beans because I have two bags and I've never um, tried it. So I know that I'm good to go on that. Then I have um, bush beans in here. I have the Royal Burgundy, some more pole beans, more pole beans. So y'all, it looks like I have one, two, three, four additional packs of pole beans in this container. So again, as you keep going, then I can separate and do bush beans versus pole beans. Um, well, all of these wouldn't fit, so that's probably why she did it that way. But I definitely don't need any more pole beans. That's the beauty of going through this because I could go through the catalog and see those purple beans and not realize I already got a pack of that and didn't even plant it. Or get three or four packs of pole beans, which I really don't need. I have two containers full of them. Two containers full of them. Now here are some marigolds. I love marigolds. My favorite this year was a new one that I tried, which is the Kilimanjaro White. Um, but y'all, look at all these packets of marigolds I have. I have them in tons of colors. So this is the one that I liked. That was so pretty. So I wanna order more of this because that's the only one of that kind I have. Everything else is like the oranges and the reds. So this one I want, but I don't need anything else. So I will put on my list the marigold. Kilimanjaro white. Um, and we'll just say two of those. Now one of the things I do want to do is grow from seed a lot more marigolds. Now I grew some last year from seed, but I did not grow nearly as much, especially when you take into account my high tunnel and my outside garden. And I ended up buying um, marigolds from Home Depot just for pollinators, just to put it beside like the tomatoes and stuff which work really well together. So I did bank on that. So again, this is great for me to plan. Um, I have plenty that I can try, you know, of this kind. These are like the 25 cent packs from the Dollar Tree. They work just fine. But I got a whole thing of marigolds. Um, the Kilimanjaro be ones that are for beauty. The other ones, um, I can do those little yellow ones for pollinators. So that's good. And see, I got different kinds of, this is what I was saying, I like this case is different than this case. You can kind of see, so they're not fitting the same. We'll have to come back and fix that. Mustard greens, I did those, not this fall, but last fall. I didn't like them, I'm not ordering more. And there's one pack to give to somebody else if they want it. Um, as a seat, um, at a seat swap. This is lavender. I haven't grown lavender from seed, but I have two, so I don't need to order any more. Um, I can get it from the store. And the marigolds, I'm gonna put over here this flower one. This is basil. And y'all, I was gonna order some basil. Look at all this basil I have. Do y'all see this? Look at all this basil. I have sweet Thai. I have a Lydia. More sweet Thai, lemon, African basil, cardinal basil, blue spice basil, and lemon basil. I have tons of basil if I wanna start some from seed. Um, I didn't see the tradition like the Genovese basil. 
So that's another thing. I want to grow way more basil this year. I ended up buying basil plants. Um, I grew some from seed, but I did not grow enough. So that's another thing. I want to um, grow more basil. They, they're great with tomatoes. Plus, I want to make way more pesto um, this year. So I don't need any basil seeds, but I am... I am gonna get me some Genovese basil because that's like the traditional basil. So I'm gonna put on here a Genovese basil, I think that's the name of it, and let's just say two. But I don't need any more. Don't y'all let me get on here. This is empty. Okay, great, we already talked about broccoli. Don't let me get on here talking about I didn't bought 10, bro um, 10 basil. I want y'all to say, well Barbara, ain't that why you did your seed inventory? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, black eyed peas. You know I love them. So I have two and a half packs of black eyed peas. But when I was doing my other little thing, I have um, two packs of purple whole peas, which is almost the same thing. And then I have some purple whole peas that I saved as seeds from my harvest this year. So in all, I probably have a total of like five packs. Okay, that won't fit. We'll have to do a different one for that. So five packs, but Next year, I'm not going to do, I don't think, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do a dedicated space for black eyed peas and then a dedicated space for purple whole peas. I'm just going to do the purple whole peas. I like both and that'll just conserve on space. So this year I did purple whole peas in the outside garden, uh, 50 feet. And this time, next time I'm going to do a whole 100 feet, um, 100 feet bed. So I'm going to focus more on the um, purple whole peas. So I am going to put that down because I want more of those. And I know that I'm going to plant a lot. So I'm going to say four for that. Just because I want to make sure I don't run out. Okay? Make sure I don't run out. So this is Alyssum. I have two packs of that. I planted that for the first time from seed. It's in my garden right now in the high time in my flower little bed area. I like it. So I'll put one on here, but I definitely don't need a lot. Cosmos, I didn't plant any last year and there's like four or five packets in here. I'm gonna let that be so I'm not gonna order any more. Zinnias, one of my favorite flowers. I got a lot. Polar Bear, Aztec, El Dorado, Queen Lime. The Queen Lime didn't do good. I'm going to try it again. Macarena. I got a lot of Queen Lime. Cut and Come Again. And yeah, the Cut and Come Again. So, I love Zinnias. I am going to order some more because I'm looking for a different, some different colors. So, I'm going to put on here Zinnia. Um, different colors and then let's just say no more than four. Y'all don't talk about me. Celosia, I did plant that last year. I liked it. I have plenty of it. Rainbow Plume, Flamingo Peak, and then Eternity Mix. Um, yeah, I got plenty. So I will only order this if they have some new colors. I have plenty of that, so I don't need to get all tied up in um, that. So I'm going to put on here, look for new color. And if they do, let's just say no more than two. Sunflowers. I have plenty, 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 plenty of sunflowers. So I really don't need any more. Again, it'll be the same thing. If they have a new variety, I may be open to it. Um, and I'm going to put two. That'll keep me in check. And we'll be good to go. This is radish. I have one. I'm going to keep it at one. I'm growing some right now for the first time. That's a watermelon radish. I'm going to see if I like it. If I do, we'll get more. But right now, I'm not going to order any more. So this is calendula. Um, I have plenty of those. Not going to order any more of that. I have that growing right now. So that's all good. And just like that, that is case number two done. 
So y'all see, it doesn't take long to do this. It's just a matter of sitting down and doing it and getting your stuff done. So let's move on to case number three. Eucalyptus is hard to find. I have three. So I'm gonna put it on here just on my list because it is hard to find. That right there that I have, I had to work for it. So I'm just gonna put two in case I see it and I wanna build up my inventory because I love eucalyptus. Um, I've grown some from seed, I have it in my garden now, but it's not getting big, big, big like I've seen on others. So I'm still working on it. Daisies, I did those last year. I have three packs, not gonna keep, not gonna order any more of those. Locks for, I did that. I have three packs, not gonna order more of that. Nasturtiums, I'm only gonna do these next year because they're good for the garden, but I'm not a huge fan. They just look flimsy to me. They're pretty, but last year mine had a lot of, the, um, a lot of pest damage, so to me they were getting eaten instead of keeping the pests from eating my other stuff. Now they might have done both. So I'm gonna do them just because I know they're really, really beneficial, but I have four packs in here. I don't think I'm gonna um, order any more. I don't think. Well, I'll put I'll put it down and just see. Cause what you don't want to do is run out of seeds. That's what I don't want to do. So I'll put two and we'll see what happens. Celery. I have one in here, the Chinese pink celery. Haven't been grow haven't not have not been successful growing celery from seed. I'm gonna try it again next year. We'll see what happens. Um maybe I'll get one celery and get the Utah and try that and see if it works. I'm just gonna put one there. We don't eat a lot of celery. Eggplant, I have one. I didn't even grow eggplant last um, summer and I may not this summer, so I'm gonna keep that at one and not order that. Okra, y'all know I, I grew a lot of okra. Um, I have three packs, two of it is orange, one of it is like this, but I found some okra I got some okra from the seeds that I had last time, so I'm gonna put that in here. Um, yeah. And I have a big bag of okra seeds that I remember that I bought that is not in here because it won't fit, but I do have more okra, so I don't need to order any more okra. This is corn, and all of this is the blue corn. I wanna try this this year and make me, and mill it and make some blue corn grits. I have three packs of that, so I'm not gonna order any more of that. But I think I have another container of just regular corn. Um, when we get to that, we'll see it. But I already know that I need corn. I already know. And it's hard to come by. Like, it sells out fast. Um, collards. I have two packs on the table that you can't see of collards. It's like a big pack. Like, one has like 500 seeds than this. So I definitely don't need more collards. Cantaloupe. I have a whole pack in here. And then I got three smaller packs so I don't need more of that. Watermelon, I actually, this is a new one that I bought right after the summer, at the end of the summer, so I didn't get a chance to plant it. It's called Strawberry Watermelon. I found that in that little bag that I had with everything else. So I'm gonna add that to this. And it looks like I have plenty of packs of the Sugar Baby, which is the only kind I've really been growing. So I think we're good on watermelon. Carrots, we know we ran out of carrots this fall and had to buy more. So I'm actually gonna put carrots on my list because there's only four packs in there. Um, and again, it's more for the fall, but I, I'm gonna order some more. I'm just gonna put, let's just say five because I want a lot of carrots. These are peppers. And I have a lot of peppers on the table from my um, thing. I do need some more jalapeno pepper plants to, to order from seed. I don't have those. Um, let's see. These are cayenne. That's chili pepper that I saved. Lemon spice, habanado. But I also have these other peppers, the part that I was doing when I first came on. This is a new one that I'm trying to order at the end of the summer, the Sugar Rush Peach. I'm gonna order another one of those because it just sounds good and, and looks like it's gonna be good. Um, and then the sweet 
bonnet pepper. I'm gonna order another one of those. These I got at the very end of the summer so I didn't have time to plant them, but they are definitely on my list. And then these are pepper seeds that I saved. So I do have one thing of jalapeno peppers that I saved from seed, and then I have two of the red bell peppers. So I'm gonna add that in here. But on my list, I'm gonna put order more jalapenos, and then sweet bonnet, and then the sugar rush peach. Um, and then I'm gonna put on here, look for some other peppers like poblano, or there was another one, um, another hot pepper. I can't remember. So I'm just making myself a note to look for it um, when I go to order my seeds. And then the next three are all tomatoes. So I have slicing tomatoes, then I have paste tomatoes, that my daughter like labeled for me, and then I have cherry tomatoes. On the onset, I already know I need more tomatoes. I'm just gonna put that on here and put tomatoes, cause I already know. Um, I know I want the Amish paste, and then the alpaca, and then Salvatore Select, and maybe Roma, we'll see. I'm gonna put question mark Roma. But I want way more paste tomatoes so that I can do sauce. So overall from this summer, I know I want to do less cherry tomatoes, more paste tomatoes, um, and maybe a little bit more slicing tomatoes than I did this past year. I'm also gonna do some tomatoes that are specifically designed for the high tunnel. So they're gonna be like a greenhouse high production hybrid version. So I'm gonna put that on my list so I don't forget. So I'm gonna put greenhouse tomato version. Um, and I've already looked at some that I want. So I'm just gonna make myself a note so that I remember. Um, so on the paste tomato right now, I have plenty of Roma, I have San Marzano, and then I have one Salvatore Select and then one Opaca. Um, so I definitely want more of these. These did really, really, really well. Um, that was my first time this summer, so I wanna order more of those. So the Roma, I don't need. So I'm actually gonna take the Roma off because I don't need that. See how that works? So, we're good on that. And then for the slicing tomatoes, I have the beef steak in here, a pineapple tomato. I wasn't a fan of that. Um, it looks like just, and then Paul Robeson and the Cherokee purple. The Paul Robeson had a lot of like pest damage. And then the Cherokee purple, it's an heirloom, but this would be my third year growing it if I grow it this time. It tastes great, but the pest pressure that you gotta deal with, it's too much. So I am gonna put on here um, slicing tomato, and I'll just look up and see what I find. Um, yeah. But I don't know what kind yet. So let me know, guys, what's your favorite slicing tomato um, that you like? Let me know. And then cherry tomato, definitely gonna do the sun goal again. That's one of my favorites. Um, I have the large red cherry. I have four packs of that. I have one sun gold, I have the matte red cherry, I've got the sunrise bumblebee, then I have the sweetheart. So, I definitely need some more cherry tomatoes. I know I just said I had like 10 packs, but I need some more sun gold because all I saw was one pack. So I'm gonna put sun gold and I'll just put other varieties. And of the sun goal, I know I need at least like five packs of that because we grew a lot of that and those are yummy, yummy good. So that is it for that one. Three out of four. 
last one. Cucumbers. I do not need any more cucumbers. Look at all of these packs of cucumbers. I don't know, I don't know how I ended up with so many. I have Boston Pickling, Muncher, Market More, Early Fortune, and more of the same. Plus, I have all these that I had on the table. That's like seven packs. Okay, so we're on the fourth one. Um, last one, Snapdragons. I have three that I can see in there. So I don't think I need to order more of those. Well, I did like the Snapdragons. So let me just put that on there and let's just say two. Um, so these are onions. I have not been successful growing onion from seed yet at all. I have four packs and a pack of leaves. I think I'm gonna, I'll keep these, but I'm not gonna try to order more. Um, not yet. I'm gonna keep ordering my, my onions from Dixon Dale Farms. This is what I did last year, I had great success. So we'll just keep that. This is a whole bunch of herbs. Um, lemon balm, we can put that in there, dill. Dusty Miller, more Dusty Miller, more mint, mullein, I got a lot of lemon balm, flat leaf parsley, um, thyme. So I will do that stuff from seed this year. So it looks like I'm good on those herbs at least. I, don't, I didn't see any oregano, so I may need to do some oregano. This is a, a squash that I didn't do last year. That's the butter, butter bush, butter bush. Um, wormwood, I'm finding this like in my little thing. This is orange bell pepper seeds. So that needs to go with where the other bell peppers are. This is a cover crop. I haven't used the first one yet. This is more tomatoes. So I need to go through that this is spinach i have a whole pack of spinach this is probably like 200 and something seeds so i need to put this where the spinach goes so i think this one is like a hodgepodge of stuff this is more onions more peppers so i have more peppers here okay cool so i think this is like a hodgepodge of like some duplicate stuff so i'm gonna actually go through this stuff separate and put it where it belongs and then i'll finish doing my list but for the sake of this being a movie um i won't take you through that part but y'all we got three out of the four cases done i have my list already typed up so we have um straw flour on here i won't go through all but i have like 24 things on here and so the only last thing i have to do is to go through this and put it with wherever it goes or make note that if I said that I didn't have something that maybe I do like this whole thing is squash. I don't even know if I like squash yet because I haven't eaten the ones that I did grow. So I'm not gonna order more of that. I already have some more squash. That's the, um, like the butternut squash. Definitely like yellow summer squash. Y'all looks like I have a lot of it. So I don't even need any more squash at all. I got a whole thing of it right here. Um, yeah, so those are peppers, tomatoes, lettuce. I have a lot of lettuce. Cabbage. I know I need more cabbage. And then that's kale. So yeah, a cinch and that's spinach. So yeah, that's perfect. So let me just put this in here with the spinach. So it's all together. So y'all, I went out buying more spinach and I had this pack of seeds that I got from my local co-op. It has, a, this is Bloomsdale spinach. You see all those seeds? And I went buying more spinach seeds because I thought I was out. That's another reason why it's good to go to your, go through your inventory and try to stay organized 
so that you know what you have and you're not panicking um, and you can get what you need. Oh, I know I need cilantro. I just um, used the last of my cilantro seeds. I gave some to a friend and I only have a few left. So I know I need to order more cilantro because I know that I'm out of that. Um, but y'all, that's it. That is it. I could go on and on and on. But thank you so much for hanging in here with me, doing my seed inventory. I feel good that I've gotten through three. I've visually kind of looked at um, this stuff. I just need to kind of go through it and like put it together where it belongs. But for the most part, we are doing great in terms of having all of our seeds together and knowing what we have. So once I finish this, I get to go play. I get to go order my seeds. Not that I can't order them now, but I'm trying to be disciplined, but I get to go play in all my catalogs, order my seeds over um, Christmas break. That's what I did last year. I try to get my seeds, my seed orders in and done before the first of the year. Uh, I want no issues or anything, you know, coming out, any of that stuff. So let me know what you guys are doing. If you've already gone through your seed inventory, if you've already ordered seeds, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you're doing. But thank you guys so much for joining along. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up or a subscribe or both. I would appreciate it. Share it on your page um, to someone who was new to gardening or wanting to learn how to garden. Um, and I'll pop up a, a couple of videos up here so that you can see between now and my next upload. Thank you so much, friends. I appreciate you spending time with me. Have a great, great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.